Okay, here we have question number 25 from May, June 2018, paper 2, variant 2. Um, part A, it tells you that P is a point 0.169. Okay. P is a point 0.169 and Q is a point 0.2224. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to PQ that passes through the point 0.51. Okay, so we know two things about the line. The first thing we know for sure that it passes through the point 0.51. Okay, so we can use that point to find the equation of the line. And the second thing we know is that it's perpendicular to the line PQ. So first of all, let's find the gradient of PQ. Find the gradient of PQ. Okay, so that's going to be the change in Y, which is 24 minus 9, over the change in X, which is 22 minus 16. 22 minus 16. Sorry about that. 22 minus 16. Now, 24 minus 9 is going to give us uh, 15. 15 plus 9 is 24, that's right. And 22 minus 16 is going to give us 6. That simplifies, if you take the common factor of 3 out, you've got 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the gradient of the line, which is perpendicular to PQ is going to be the negative reciprocal of this. So it's going to be negative 2 over 5. Okay, so now we have the information that we need to find the equation of the line. The equation of the line is given by the formula y equals mx plus c. This is one way of doing it, which most IG students prefer. And here you have your x and here you have your y values. You can substitute them in. 1 equals minus 2 fifths okay times x which is 5 plus c now the fives will cancel out so you're left with 1 plus 3 equals sorry jumping ahead of myself let me do it step by step okay so you have 1 equals negative 2 plus c and then you add 2 to both sides so c is equal to 1 plus 2 which is 3 so you end up with y equals uh, minus 2 fifths x minus 2 fifths x plus 3. Okay, that's the form they want the equation in, y equals mx plus c. Okay, now part 2, or part b, says n is a point on pq such that pn equals 2nq. Okay, so basically you've got the point p, which is 16, 9. Let me just write it here again. p is 16, 9. And q is the point 22, 24. 22 and 24. And it tells us that N is on PQ and P to N is twice the length of N to Q. Okay, P to N is twice the length of N to Q. So let me just make a little sketch of this just to give us an idea of what's happening. Okay, so P is 16, 9. So let's say, so if, say this is 16 and this is 9. I'm not making it to scale, I'm just giving us an idea of what's happening. And Q is 22 and 24. So let's say that's 22. I'll say 24 is up here somewhere. Okay, 22 and 24. That's going to be up here, over here somewhere. Okay, so your line will be something that looks like this. Where's the line gone? The line will look something like... The line doesn't want to appear. Okay. Yeah. Just say your line goes from there to there. All right, now, so what we can say is this is the point P. This is the point P. Okay, this is the point P, and this is the point Q. Okay, and we know that N lies on PQ such that PN is twice NQ. So that means it's, we can say, somewhere over here. So this is like two parts, and this is like one part. Okay, now, if I were to join, oops. If I were to draw this line across here, and this line across here, okay, make it straight. Then what I can say is, 
that. If we make another line from end down here, straight down. Oops. A line. Okay, from end down here. And also from across here. I can say, if this ratio is 2 to 1, okay, these are like similar triangles. These angles are the same. These are 90 degrees. So you can say that basically, this is also the ratio 2 to 1. And this is also the ratio 2 to 1. That's not the length, that's the ratio. That's just the ratio. Okay. So now, what I can say is, all right, that the, the length from P to Q, horizontally, is 6 units. It's 22 minus 16. Right? 22 minus 16. And I know N, the, the X coordinate of N is going to be 2 thirds along here. Okay? So 2 thirds times 22 minus 16 will give me how far away from P the X coordinate of N will be. So that's 2 thirds times 6. So 2 thirds times 6. Okay, which the 6 and the 3 cancel out to give you 2. Okay, that gives you 4. So it's 4 units away from P. So 4 units away from P is going to be 20. So the coordinate, the x coordinate of the point N is 20. Okay, 4 units away from P, the x coordinate. Now the y coordinate is going to be a ratio 2 to 1 away from the y coordinate of P. So the distance between Q and P vertically, that distance there, is the distance between 9 and 24, okay, and that's a distance of 15 units, okay, so if we do the same, the same thing, it's 15, it's supposed to be 5, if we say 2 thirds times 15, which is basically what I wrote here, which is 24 minus 9, okay, 2 thirds of 15, so his pen's a bit messed up right now, so 2 thirds times 15, Okay, 3 into 5, go, 15 goes 5 times. Okay, 2 times 5 is 10. So it must be 10 units above P. So that's 10 units above P. So that means it must be 9 plus 10, which is 19. And there we have our answer to part B, and the question's answered. Okay, so it's just using ratios and kind of like similar triangles.